Hey guys, this is Scott with the 1970 Chevy El Camino Resto Mod. Today I wanted to feature a couple of these small items that I've been working on uh, since the last time I posted some updates. So under the hood, I actually have uh, some upgraded hinges. And then I also added some um, material to the exhaust pipes in order to keep the heat out from inside the car. I'm also going to talk a little bit about the classic auto airs air conditioning system. So one of the challenges I had there, well, I had lots of challenges. I actually do not like this product at all and would not recommend anybody buy it. And I thought that once I got past the installation, everything would work fine. That's not the case. I was throwing fuses, tons of problems. It's just not a high quality product. So if you're to buy an aftermarket air conditioner for a 70 El Camino, I would recommend going with Vintage Air and I regret that I did not do it. Anyhow, I will, one of the issues I had is it wasn't blowing hard enough or cold enough uh, because of the uh, heat coming from the engine bay. So I installed some product on the exhaust pipes to radiate that heat back at the pipe and to keep it off of the interior of the car. I just got that done a couple days ago and on my first couple test drives, there's a night and day difference. I wish I used my infrared thermometer to check the floorboard temperatures, but I no longer have heat on my legs and feet where I would have the AC on and the AC is just working to basically dump that heat from that area. And it was just not, not working well and counterproductive. So let's take a look underneath the hood here. All right, so you can see the AC system is installed. I also upgraded the uh, alternator again when I installed the AC, draining power not working right. The other alternator wasn't working correctly. I also went to a smaller pulley, which allowed me to turn higher voltage. So now I'm consistently in that 13 and a half uh, volt range at all RPMs while driving. And then the new product I installed here is on the uh, exhaust pipes as you may be able to see here, it just wraps around the pipe. I did paint it black to go with that same, it's header paint. So it goes with that same color that I had on the pipes already. Uh, again, looks really great. And then I have that two, three foot sections on each side, which goes all the way past the interior, just to about a foot under the bed of the car. And then here you can see on the other side, Maybe a little challenging here. You can see the wrap going underneath the car. Again, it goes all the way back just before the mufflers. So right in this area here underneath the vehicle. A uh, huge difference on reducing that heat on the floorboard. And then if you look inside the car, the, uh, the classic Auto Air's control panel which one of the reasons why I chose this over Vintage Air is because it looked more like the OEM panel versus the Vintage Air, which wasn't as closely matched. And I kind of wanted that, but highly regret, regretted it, the decision just because the performance is so bad of that product. Uh, but that is the update for some of the, well, let me show you the hinges. These are the C at CVH black hinges. They're aluminum. The install was pretty straightforward. You do need two people to do it, uh, but it came out great. It's a high performance hinge, fully adjustable. I was able to correct some of my hood alignment issues as well. So that sums up this uh, update for some of the uh, engine bay upgrades, the air conditioner, the hinges, and uh, classic auto air. Thank you guys. Talk to you next time.